Now, I'm going to make some statements. What I want you to do is decide if these statements are true or false. Yes, you decide if they are true or false. Statement number one. Check this out. So, what's the answer? True or false? It's true! Yes, true! <laughs> this is why it is true. Now, statement number two. <laughs> true or false? Yes, yes. And now this is the answer. <laughs> Welcome to Tony Clown Sunday School Class. It's good to have you today. This is the week two of our study of the book, The Wilderness Way. Before I tell you the foundation stone we'll be talking about today, I'd like to ask who can remember the foundation stone we talked about last week? Huh? Uh, yes, the cornerstone. Wait, 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 wait. Spell who the cornerstone is. Let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yay! You're very, very correct. Jesus is the cornerstone. Um, if you're watching this and you'll be like, what are they talking about? You have to go and watch the last week's edition. That is where you understand everything we are saying about the cornerstone. The foundational stone we'll be talking about today is... Drum roll. Truth. Yes, truth. Truth is the foundational stone we'll be talking about today. In our game, you had to decide if uh, those statements were true or false. Hmm. But it wasn't easy. Right? The only way to know for sure that those statements are either yes or no is if you have researched it. Mm -hmm. And even if you are researching, the place you are researching it from, you must first believe that what they are saying is the absolute truth. So, what does the word absolute mean? It actually means to say that something is complete and without error. We are going to study some points that proves that the Bible is really, really the absolute truth. The first point is history. Now, let me tell you something. Moses actually starts writing the Bible. He started writing it around 1550 BC. Do you know the meaning of BC? Before Christ. Yes. Before Christ. That was long, long ago. Hello. 40 other authors actually added something to the Bible. They too, they wrote. All of them were inspired by God to write something down. And what they wrote was compiled to make the Bible. History proves that the Bible is absolute truth. And the next point is archaeology. Archaeology is actually the study of history through the remains of the past. Yes, things that are found maybe hidden inside deep, deep in the ground or in the ocean. Yes, archaeology is actually the study of those things. In Israel, where biblical events took place, they've actually dug up evidences to prove that those events actually happen wow in fact if you travel to jerusalem today you will still find some of those remains like um the tomb where jesus was laid uh, the garden of gethsemane you will see a lot of beautiful places that were actually in the bible some of these places are still existing yes wow this actually proves that the bible is absolute truth 
Prophecy is the next point. Prophecy is the ability to predict the future. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, prophet Isaiah, he prophesied about the birth and the death of Jesus Christ. And guess what? It happened just as he said it would happen. Wow! So this prophecy actually proved that the Bible is absolute truth. Next point to show that the Bible is absolute truth is eyewitness. Eyewitness. What does eyewitness mean? It means people that see it, people that were there and they see and say something about it. Yes, eyewitness. A court of law used to consider eyewitness as a reliable source of truth. Mm -hmm. So if courts can say that eyewitness is a reliable source of truth, definitely eyewitness too can be a reliable source to prove that the Bible is absolute truth. According to the Bible, Jesus came back to life after crucifixion and over 500 people saw Jesus with their eyes and these people kept on proclaiming and telling everybody so those are the eyewitness that saw what happened and the bible recorded it so you can agree with me that what this eyewitness said is actually a proof that the bible is absolute truth now let's do a bible true and false exercise are you ready are you ready okay number one hmm. adam and eve disobeyed god by eating an apple in the garden of eden true or false bam, 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 bam. the answer is false the bible did not say apple what the bible said is a fruit just fruit the next one three wise men from the east came to visit jesus in the manger <laughs> true or false false the bible did not say there are three it only mentioned three gifts what the bible said was wise men from the east jonah was swallowed by a whale true or false false the bible did not say it's a whale that swallowed jonah it said a big fish <coughs> do you see how easy it is to think you know what the bible says but you are actually wrong so how can you know exactly what the bible say it's simple it's just by reading it reading the bible is how you know what it says why is it important to believe that the bible is absolute truth written by men who are inspired by god's holy spirit now listen this is it this is why it is very important because the world is going to tell you a lot of nasty things things like telling you you are from ape yes that God was not the one that created you. The world will tell you that you might not be sure if you are a male or female. When you believe that God's word is absolute truth, you find it easy to be able to identify what is true and what is false. Are you looking for a Christ-centered MC clown to make your camps kids birthday parties and events extra special your search ends here tony clown is a professional clown mc with unique talents for delighting and entertaining children of all ages all while embracing a christ-centered approach with mc tony clown your event is guaranteed to be an unforgettable and joy-filled experience for all in attendance contact us today on the number on your screen
Thank you for watching today's episode of Tony Clown Sunday School Class. Yes. Always remember to tell your friends to watch Tony Clown Sunday School Class. Mm? Okay. So, for next week's foundational stone. Ah, this is the redo. So if you can crack this redo, you know what to do. Send the answer to this number and I will add it to your points. <laughs> it's time to say bye bye. Now say bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.